The National Highways and Motorway Police Urdu, Kumi Shara W. Moor Polis abbreviated NH and MP, is a police force in Pakistan that is responsible for enforcement of traffic and safety laws, security and recovery on Pakistan's national highways and motorway network. National Highways and Motorway Police is corruption-free Department of Pakistan, the NH and MP use SUVs, cars and heavy motorbikes for patrolling purposes and uses speed cameras for enforcing speed limits. Topic history The Pakistan Motorways Police PMP began in 1997 for policing Pakistan's newly constructed motorway network, starting with the M2. Later, in June 2001, it was also assigned the additional task of patrolling Pakistan's national highways starting with Pakistan's longest national highway, the N5. With the assignment of the additional role of patrolling the national highways, the name of the Pakistan Motorways Police was changed to National Highways and Motorway Police. In February 2007, NH and MP started policing the Makran Coastal Highway N10. The first Inspector General of Police was Mr. Afzal Ali Shigri and was tasked to prepare the plan for the new force. He was ably assisted by Mr. Shamam Ahmed, a junior officer from the National Transport Research Cell. He conceived, developed and prepared a comprehensive proposal to establish an efficient and modern highway police for the new motorway. With the change of the government the plan was shelved. This plan with slight modifications was established later by Mr. Iftikhar Rashid, Inspector General of Police, who not only implemented the plan but also ensured it achieved the benchmarks laid down at its inception. Topic organization The NH and MP is headquartered in Islamabad and led by the Inspector General of Police IGP, along with by seven Deputy Inspector Generals DIGS, each in charge of a separate branch. The rank structure is as follows, Inspector General of Police IGP, Additional Inspector General of Police ADDL, IGP, Deputy Inspectors General of Police DIGS, Assistant Inspector General of Police AIGs, Senior Superintendents of Police SSPs, Superintendents of Police SPs, Assistant Superintendents of Police ASPs, Deputy Superintendents of Police DSPs, For policing purposes, the National Highways and Motorway Network is divided into the following five zones zones, each headed by a DIG. Each zone is divided into multiple sectors and led by an SSPs and SPs. Each sector is further divided into BEATs, each led by a DSP. Motorway Zone M1, M2, M3 N5 North Zone N5 Central Zone N5 South Zone West Zone Topic objectives Manageable span of control, SP manages 250 officers and an ASP, DSP, Chief Patrol Officer, about 60 officers. For optimum efficiency, force functions in three shifts. Force comprises educated officers. Emphasis is given on smart turnout and professionalism. Effective accountability and senior command accountable for misdeeds of subordinates. No documents seized during any violation of traffic rules by the commuters. No interference from any quarter. Complete delegation of authority and responsibility. Only moving violations checked. Force responsible for traffic discipline, safety of commuters and initial action in crimes. Better pay, conducive working conditions, dependable mobility, intensive professional training and induction of foreign trainers are critical factors for the success of NH and MP department. Officer cadre for enforcement. Close supervision and effective command. Distinct uniform and smart turnout. 50% of fine collected on the motorways, highways utilized for road safety, rewards and welfare of the force. SOPs for all operational activities. Adoption of ticketing system. Welfare projects including scholarships, financial assistance for daughter's marriage, burial assistance, welfare petrol pumps and special quota in jobs for Shahid's children. Topic recruitment and training before start of policing on M2 Islamabad Lahore Motorway In 1997 all the officers were selected from within the existing police setups of the country and an extensive training program was prepared for them in order to bring them up to international standards of motorway expressway policing Both local and foreign instructors imparted the training Local training was given at Police College Sahala to meet the international standards, experts from UK and Nordic countries were invited who, along with local experts, trained our officers in advance driving skills and management of various types of incidents. 
A foreign training course with South Wales Police, UK and German Police in Kiel was also conducted to ameliorate personnel of this flourishing force up to the global standard of policing. In addition, services of armed forces were also utilised for advanced driving skills particularly for motorcycles. In order to impart customised training related to highways, Motorway NH and MP has set up its own training college at Shikapura with the following mandate, I to train the newly selected officers on basic police course. E to organise NH and MP orientation training of already trained officers. E to organize driving training for fresh recruited officers, IV to organize advance courses for drivers to make them driving instructors, V to organize wireless training courses for wireless operators, V to organize short courses on SOPs and functioning of NH and MP, V to organize technical courses on use of MISC. Equipment Pravita, wireless sets etc. V to organize courses on physical fitness, X to organize fire shooting course, X to organize first aid training course, she to conduct promotional exams for different cadres. XII to conduct refresher courses for senior officers. XIII to act as a platform for provision of training by foreign experts. Traffic wardens in Lahore are very hard working. They come from villages to Lahore so they do not hesitate in taking money from people because Lahore is not their native city which is something very good for the people of Lahore city. To hinder corruption in big cities of Pakistan villagers should not be allowed to do job in law enforcement. As simple it is, a person will not do corruption in place where people know him because he will feel shy and careful about his reputation but if he is in city where no one knows him me anyone can become corrupt if given the powers to do corruption. Training Institute is working at its full swing and since January 2006, has trained over 129 trainers in different categories. Training Institute has the honor to train over 400 officers of Islamabad Model Traffic Police and recently trained 40 senior officers of Punjab Traffic Police as trainers to train over 6,000 newly recruited traffic wardens of Punjab Police. Besides this training institute has successfully completed lower intermediate and upper class promotion courses in addition to a number of capacity building short courses like orientation for deputationists, refresher courses for the CPOs, admin officers, moharers, weapon handling, record keeping etc. Another landmark for the training institute is to complete on its own first commando course for about 27 officers with 10 officers doing para gliding courses including 4 lady officers. It is worth mentioning that all the above development have been made with the limited available resources under the previous guidance and encouragement of the worthy Inspector General, NH and MP who has been taking personal interest to make the training institute a hub of learning and road model for all other police training institute in the country. Training strategy after study of the current policing system and the culture, a comprehensive training strategy is devised to build a force which is honest, professional, dedicated and service, oriented. Main elements of the training strategy in NH and MP are, TNA to assess training needs SWOT analysis training techniques quality instructors modern techniques of instruction 1, syndicate, participative system 2, simulation exercises 3, case studies 4, driving skills respectful training environment foreign training selection criteria and requirements SPO senior patrolling officer 16 graduation at least second division preferably law and LTV driving license 20 years to 27 years 5 feet 8 inches for male 5 feet 4 inches for female 3.5 to 35 with expansion for male only. PO patrolling officer 14 graduation at least second division and LTV driving license 18 years to 25 years 5 feet 8 inches for male 5 feet 4 inches for female 33.5 to 35 with expansion for male only. APO Assistant Patrolling Officer 07 Intermediate, LTV Driving License, 03 Years Driving Experience 18 Years to 25 Years 5 feet 8 inches for male 5 feet 4 inches for female 33.5 to 35 with expansion for male only. JPO Junior Patrolling Officer 05 Matric, LTV Driving License, 03 Years Driving Experience 18 Years 25 Years 5 feet 8 inches for male 5 feet 4 inches for female 33.5 to 35 with expansion for male only. Selection method In all the above categories of selection the candidate has to go through a thorough selection process. Candidate has to, submit complete application in all respects. Qualify the physical test including running, height and chest measurements etc. Pass the written test. Pass the interview. 
The selected candidates are examined for medical fitness. Physically and mentally fit candidates are then ready for national highways and motorway police training. Topic equipment The NH and MP patrolling and rescue vehicles include the Toyota Land Cruiser, Prado SUV, Toyota Corolla, Toyota Helix, Toyota Hiachi, Mazda Trucks and Suzuki 500 and 750cc motorcycles. Scientific and latest equipment are procured by spending huge government exchequer and utilized to curb the tendency of violation on national highways and motorway. The list of some useful equipment is as under, I, Provita 2000, Vascar, this radar is fitted with video and it not only detects speed but also has a printer, which gives the picture of the vehicle along with detail of prescribed speed and actual speed of the vehicle. This has helped NH and MP in preventing corruption and argument amongst commuter and police officer. E, handheld radar, laser gun, this is a gun-like radar and is used to detect speed but cannot record it. E, emergency, accident, this includes emergency equipment, boards like accident ahead, traffic diversion cones and cone lights etc., which are used to secure the areas of accident, incident both during day and night. IV, searchlight, for surveillance at night, every vehicle is provided with a searchlight with a power of 400,000 CP, which helps in detecting any criminal activity and in case of accident, incident etc. at night. V video, still camera, each sector is provided with one each of video camera and still camera in order to make video film and photographs of the area of the accident, incident, V first aid boxes, NH and MP is the first to reach at the site of accident, incident. They have been given special training to provide first aid to the injured on the spot. V communications system, NH and MP is using latest equipment for wireless communication through repeater-based, direct UHF, VHFs, V Weber hydraulic cutters, NH and MP have also recently procured 47 Weber hydraulic cutters as rescue equipment. This equipment helps in effective accident management and recovery of injured persons. X night vision speed checking devices, NH and MP are now also using night vision speed checking devices to improve the quality of work of this elite force. See also Motorways of Pakistan National Highways of Pakistan Highway Patrol Topic external links Pakistan National Highways and Motorway Police National Highway Authority